self-care is the best thing you can do for the other people that you love is to love yourself. Hey, hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. I'm on my way to get a massage, which uh, I'm a licensed massage therapist. You may not know that about me. And I don't get enough massages lately. I used to. I've gone through phases where I get one almost every week, which is kind of ideal. Maybe even every day would be ideal in my world. Once a week would be pretty fabulous. And at least once a month seems like uh, a minimum for a practicing therapist. And yet often several months or even at times in my life, years have gone by with me not getting a massage. And as lately I've been getting massages again, uh, trading with a friend of mine, um, it reminds me how much we gain from, well, not only like in the case of massage, to receive a massage really helps me uh, be more aware of my clients when I'm when they're receiving massage for me. It's just a, helpful to close that loop and kind of remind myself what that feels like. And also just to be in, in the best shape I can, to be, you know, uh, both mentally, physically, spiritually, uh, taking care of ourselves is so important. And I think as a single mom for years, I rationalized my needing to take care of my son as a reason for not taking the best care of myself. And I did my best, you know, I mean, we, we only can do our best. And so, um, not trying to knock you if you're just getting by doing your best, because really that's all I'm still doing. Just that I am uh, giving myself a little literal pat on the back for doing a little bit of a better job than I have at other times and recognizing that that makes me more capable of being able to help other people more, both as a massage therapist and in so many other ways. The better care I take care of, the better I take care of myself, the more energy I have to offer other people, the more uh, attractive, and I don't mean that in like the sexy way, although sometimes that counts too, but I mean, um, you know, the more people are able to relate to me, the more people uh, will seek my help, the more people will be able to accept my help because I'm I'm in harmony with what they perceive of as a trustworthy, relatable, reliable person. So, uh, yeah, you know, if you're sick all the time, if you're not in good shape, if you can't do everything you want to do, then, then you're less able to help others. You're less able to offer your assistance or your services or um, any of that, your two cents. <laughs> doesn't take much to offer two cents, does it? Uh, anyway, I offer more than that, by the way. In the description below, you'll find some links to some books that I wrote. And I am available for hire as a self-coaching consult. Consultant, that's what I meant. I can't give you a consult. Anyhow, um, on my way to a massage. I worked hard today out in the sun. I'm a little bit brain fried and uh, looking forward to relaxing for an hour and a half or two hours. So I wish you peace, prosperity, possibilities, potential, and playfulness. Yeah, and self-care, love, laughter. <laughs>